This video will demonstrate how to open up and do some servicing on a Decor PGM 304 cooktop. My specific problem is that the igniter on the bottom right uh, burner died um, and I've already had it opened once and found that the micro switch on the knob controlling that burner um, basically fried, something shorted out. So I've ordered the parts. I'm going to replace the uh, spark module, uh, the igniter itself, um, as well as the micro switch that burned out. So first things first, we have to open up the cooktop. Okay, so first we just need to remove our grates and then pop off these knobs and they just pull straight up. You want to use both hands so you don't twist it. They can be a little tight. Keep them in order, although they're all the same. And then these guys, if you just reach inside the holes, you can pull these straight up. A lot of times you'll find grease and stuff collects around there. So when you put it back together, it's a good idea to clean that all up. And then you've got to remove all these little goodies. They just lift right up. This one's a little bit special. It's got more pieces to it. Okay, then you'll need a Torx 15 drive. There's two screws in each of these guys, three screws around the perimeter of this one, and you need to unscrew those. Okay, now that all the screws are out, we just lift this guy straight up. I like to just swing it. You've got a little bit of slack here with some of the cables. In our case, oh, that broke off. That's gonna get replaced anyway. This piece of gasketing goes around this big one, but I'm gonna pull this foam guy out. One other important thing that I forgot to do, which I will do now, is to unplug it so that I don't electrocute myself. So let me prop this up. Okay, here are the parts we're going to replace. This is the uh, micro switch that burned up for some reason. You can see it fried this uh, second conductor here. Um, so we're going to replace that. And uh, just to be on the safe side, since I don't quite know why that switch blew up, we're going to also replace the igniter. So this is the uh, spark igniter. You can see the part numbers there. Uh, we're going to replace the ignition module. Um, I'll show you where that goes in a minute, and since this cooktop is now several years old, we're going to replace some of these gaskets. This is the one that goes on the, the fancy burner, and then these are just O-rings that go with the, uh, with the, other, the other burner. So we're going to replace all those as well. Okay, hopefully we can see in here all right what's going on. This is the... Uh, LED light for the uh, little indicator on the simmer burner. It attaches underneath there, and so it's loose. This is where the micro switch is mounted. Um, it's got a screw mount, and it's activated by pushing down on the uh, on the knob here. And then this is the light for that burner, and then this is the connector for the switch. And you can see, you can see it it kind of fried. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit before I put it back together and hope that it's not uh, something that's shorted out internally. This here is the igniter, spark igniter, for that burner. So we're going to replace that as well, and we'll also replace the actual igniter unit. 
So I cleaned up that connector a little bit and I'm going to now remove this screw that mounts the switch in place and uh, we'll uh, come back as soon as I have that installed back in there again. All right, we've got the switch mounted back in here again. Seems to work okay when I push down on there. So now I'll reconnect its connector, which will hopefully work okay when we fire everything back up. All right, we got that on. So now let's replace the igniter. So the ignition module is just held in by a couple of screws, one in the front, one in the back. And so that should be a pretty easy swap. Okay, that was pretty easy. I went ahead and wrote the date on the top since these other ones had the date on there as well. So we'll know if we ever service it again uh, when it was replaced last. And so here is the wire that leads up to the igniter. I'm going to replace the igniter, and I think I can just pull this whole unit out. And then this is just held on with a little, with a little uh, C-clip. And so we'll go ahead and do that next. So it turns out that this igniter is not the same. This igniter is for the dual burner, not for the other burner. So I just cleaned up this one and we'll hope uh, that wasn't the source of my original problem. I kind of doubt it. So let's put it all back together and see what happens. Before I put it back together, I'm going to replace the uh, graphite gasket that was around this dual burner. It's all busted into pieces, so I was able to find a new one of those. So I'll uh, clean that up and stick that on there. Okay, new graphite washer's been installed there, gasket and uh, I think it's time to uh, button it up. And as we do that, we'll also uh, put in these new uh, O-rings around each of the burners. Okay, time for the test. All plugged in. This O-ring was replaced, a little bit tricky. Um, they don't quite stay in super good, but I think I got it under there pretty well. The other one was totally, totally hard. All right, let's see what happens here now. And we have ignition, very good. So that all works. But I see I forgot to put that back in. So I've got to open it up again, and uh, then I think we'll be good, and we'll come back as soon as we have it all cleaned up and buttoned up. All right, it's all back together. One final test, make sure everybody likes. It looks good. All right, all buttoned up.